people, my people. <laughs> four weeks left of the year. Would you believe it? Would you believe I've actually got four gins, including this one, to review, and all of them are Victorian. There's one from up in the northeast, from Backwoods Distilling Co. I've got Near Tide, which is in Portland, and I've got uh, from the Ballerine Peninsula. So, basically, to there. There's more coughing people in the background. It's that time of day. So, tonight I am doing um, a Far West, the Near Tide Distilleries, Vida Gin, which, no sound of happiness, screw top. What? A lot of these small bottles of screw tops, which is really quiet. Unusual. I love my sound of happiness. So I'm going to pour a little bit more of this in. Might use my leftovers to make a um, much needed GNT. Been slaving my ass off in the, my other job, which I um, transform, transform wildernesses into um, some resemble people backyards and lawns. So the smell of happiness says, yeah, I'm dealing with a dry gin. <laughs> I mean, the last one of this, which is the near tide distilleries, is going to be the Nobleman Dry Gin. So I should have to do it in an accident like this, you peasants. Oh dear, you grubby little people with excellent taste in gin. That's what you are. So yeah, dry gin. The bottle that tastes suspiciously like um, black rabbit. I really have not paid attention to these people's web um, the story. Sorry, website. Um, Vida is a beautifully balanced and flavoursome gin. Has notes of citrus and pepper with a very smooth um, finish. It's not, okay, it reminds me of um, Black Rabbit, but doesn't quite have the slip of its taste, which as much as I may um, like um, Sam, I still think that his chin is closer to slip of its um, than what it is, perhaps uh, anything from Jindu. Yeah. All right. That bottle where uh, my thumb is, which would be Jindu. So yeah, I'm getting very much that taste. Having said that, um, well, I'm very fancy on dry gin. It's as simple as that. It's not going to be <laughs> terribly hard to review tonight. This is a very very fancy dry gin. Um, Melbourne's weather in the last couple of weeks has been very iffy. Um, it's generally been. 30 degrees one day and next day it's, you know, we're putting on the scuba gear to get out my front door. Um, but when this site's out, so we're having a very late spring. Um, almost, you know, like, um, that it's going into summer. So um, when the sun is out and it's been warm in Melbourne, this great drinking, gin drinking weather, and this would go really well in it. Um, I would drink it with fever tree Mediterranean, to be honest with you, um, big jug. Um, and all their worries and cares and the ability to give a rat's ass to escape. That's it, dude. We're fucking out of here. Um, hmm. Yep. Dry gin. Nothing terribly complicated. It's, you know, a review of a simple gin by a simple man done simply and not terribly long. Um, I will get on a limb now and say I will go up to backwards this will be what I'll be reviewing next week the high country gin um, and see how it is I'll more likely make the last gin of the year the old dodger so I've just forecast the plan so thank you for hitting that subscribe button follow watch as much as it is put it on a loop on your phone all night so you just you know, make me a very happy man and make the wife happy because I'm getting a lot of reviews thanks for watching people my people